Hello and welcome to part two of our VTOL training. Now, I know many of you out there were asking me, where's part two, where's part two? Well, here it is. And in today's video, we're going to be learning about some more air-to-air -air combat with the missiles. And we're also going to do a little bit of a refresher with a couple of the laser-guided bombs. Now, in the next video, we will be looking at a little bit of dogfighting skills, and then we will move on to the carrier video. This video really does help new players as well as myself and it's great to be able to look over this and the first video because it's all too easy with so many games out there now that we just forget what we've learned i hope this is of use to you give us a like subscribe like and share i think i've got altitude sickness <laughs> i've just done the video and we will also be announcing the winner of the vtol key in this video so stay tuned for that let's get our boots on let's get our helmet on and let's get sky high So it's like I've got the targeting pod now. Yeah, so what you see on the pa whichever, like which side do you have the um, on the right. targeting pod on? Targeting pod's on the, the right. right. So what you see on the right is a um, infrared camera. Uh, yep. That's where the targeting pod is pointing. If you move it, that's gonna, like that camera view is going to move. Got you. You can try doing that now. So I can okay. do that, but I don't know how to target, you know, things on the radar. How do I actually find anything? Okay, so, wait, let me get it open as well. It's lagging a bit. Okay, so, um, you see, so look on the um, navigation display on the yep. left. You'll see there's a bunch of, like, um, orange diamonds and stuff. Do I need to zoom further out? Uh, yeah, zoom out a little. Oh, now I can see them. Yeah, so okay. they're, they're over to our, those um... are, Yeah, those are markers for enemy ground targets. If you just move close to that and start kind of scanning the area with your um, targeting pod, um, once you get near a target, the uh, the targeting pod will like automatically lock onto it. Ah, uh, so I, we, I would need to uh, do a 180 in order to be able to get them on. Is that Correct, right? Correct. Yeah. And the X... I'm formed up on your uh, right wing, just a I bit high and. Spot. I see. Yeah. So the X on the navigation is where my actual targeting pod is looking. Uh, yeah, that that yellow cross. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. And if you if you, you can try and move it over um, that diamond, let's uh you can, we can go ahead and turn now if you want. I'll follow you. Where are we going north? Uh, let's yeah, let's turn around. That beeping is that because you locked onto me? Uh, no, that is actually the nails tone, which means there's a. Uh, an enemy or friendly search radar on. You're probably hearing it from that E4. If you look on the uh, radar warning receiver, that's just to the left of your heads-up display. You'll see an E4. That's the uh, AWACS, Airborne Warning uh, and Control System. It's just a plane with a big radar on top. Let's right. turn. Uh, let's turn. Uh, heading three six zero. Yeah, stop, stop turning, stop turning now. Yeah, okay. Nice. All right, so uh, there should be a target. Uh, oh, just uh, there's, there's two targets ahead. So, yeah, there's one on our 11 o'clock and one on our 1 o'clock. Let's go for the one on the uh, 11 o'clock. That one is um, by the coast. Let's start scanning the area with our targeting pods. I got them. Alpha, line of one. Overlord, group, if you uh, scan the coast and use that cross, you might hear the um, the targeting pod the tar targeting pod go beep, beep and that means it's locked onto an enemy. Yeah, and it Tell says IFF four on the uh, target. Perfect. That means that means it's your I it's IFF system, which is um, identification friend or foe, has identified it as a foe, so it's an enemy target. What is the other two uh, ones at uh, 10 o'clock, the two arrows with a line? So that, that indicates that there's an enemy formation of planes. Right. They won't shoot at us, though. All right, so let's, uh, if you put your visor down, um, you'll actually see, if you look to just about our 10 o'clock, oh, uh, you'll actually see board. that cross. Yep. Yeah, got you. Yep. So let's go ahead and get Master Arm on. Master Arm on. And uh, on your targeting pod, on your right display, press GPS dash S. GPS Got dash it? S. Got it. Okay. I now can see the gonna... uh, enemy formation up to our one o'clock as well. Hi. Yep. 
and uh, we are gonna get. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep flying forward a little, and then we're going to turn onto that target. Uh, you can go ahead and select the GBU 38. GBU 38 selected. Okay. Uh, we're gonna. Yep. Okay. GBU and uh, remember that got two of them. Yep. Yep. Remember that uh, arrow that shows up like somewhere on the circle yep. that I talked about. All right. Let's try and put that on the uh, top. So we're heading straight towards the target. Does it matter what speed we're coming at? Uh, speeds does not really matter for bombing. Up. Well, I can see you in All the right. mirror. Nice. Yep, <laughs> there we go. Alright, so uh, we can... Let's go ahead and stop the turn now, because it's lined up, just about. And now we're just going to fly straight and level. Uh, pull up a little bit. You're going down. Pull up, pull up. Let's fly level, and um, when we see that diamond pop up in the inner circle, you can go ahead and drop and call out Pickle. No, I'll have to burn her out of here. You see it? I see it. Pickle, go. Pickle. Good drop. I'm gonna dive and ensure that you got a good hit. You can keep, uh, just keep flying straight. Okay. Um, good hit. Good hit. I saw that. That was dead on. Sweet. Nice. Yep. All right. I'm gonna form back up on you. Keep flying as straight and level as you can. Or you can t actually turn on your uh, heading and uh, uh, altitude autopilots, so that it'll fly you straight and level. So now we are done with that target. So uh, on your uh, targeting pod, press forwards. FWD. Got it. Got it. Reset. Okay. Good. I am gonna try and form up on you again. I might have lost. I see on the nav computer it's still highlighted with a yellow. Yes, um, that's because our uh, GPS coordinate is still there. How do we? What's your altitude? And uh, what's your altitude, real quick? Altitude is eight thousand feet at six ten knots. Got it. I need to speed up a bit. All right, I'm just gonna lock you on radar again, so you might hear a different tone. Hear it? Yeah, there you are. Okay, you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Autopilot okay. set to 8,020. Perfect. Hey, I'm forming on you. Surprising how big these actual aircraft are, isn't it? When you look back. Oh, yeah. Massive. It, it's really big. Oh, yeah. Um, this plane is actually, like, almost twice the size of uh, the uh, current, like, Standard, I guess you could say, um, U.S. Navy uh, fighter plane, the uh, F-18 Hornet. The Hornet, incidentally, uh, is um, the plane. That if I ever get into DCS, is the plane that I'm going to get into. Oh yeah. Um, if you have yeah. a buddy, I would actually suggest getting into the uh, Tomcat F-14 Tomcat. It's a bit older, but it's uh, it's really fun um, because there's a pilot and then there's a radar operator in the back. Really fun to do with buddy. Uh, also, if you don't have a buddy, there's also an AI who does it. <laughs> Flight, go ahead and switch to GBU-12. Should be next time. GBU-12, yeah, two. Laser bombs. Correct. What are we heading? Towards, uh, towards the green circle? Yeah, stop. Stop going. Stop going. Stop turning. Stop turning. Level off. Level off. What's, what's the green okay. circle? That is the bullseye. That's kind of like the center of everything i believe i'm not sure <laughs> really and the blue one is the is a carrier yes with its uh, yeah. flight path correct landing flight path yep yep and after this we're going to get on to the um air to air weapons a bit more exciting than uh, air to ground <laughs> so on the on the nav computer as well there is a above mm -hmm. the aircraft carrier directly to the north yeah. Uh, yeah. th there is a diamond. Now the one above that is a 
an, a flight, a group of enemy aircraft. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. But what's the diamond? I think that's a ship. It, that's either a ship, or if you look closely, it's got a missile or like a yeah, rocket it looks in like it. A bomb uh, in that it. could. Yeah, that's a also a, uh, a SAM site, surface to air missile site. So where are, what are we? Where, where are we heading? Let's uh, turn right, heading three zero zero. And incidentally, over to our uh, ten o'clock now, there is that, um, that uh, green triangle. diamond. Yep. Yeah. What was that green last triangle. time? Because that confused me last time. That was that's that's kind of like that cross. Uh, let's turn heading three zero zero to the right. Um, that's kind of like the cross, but for the um, like the GPS cordon that we just selected, right? The cross is kind of like where the uh, TGP is, but the um, green uh, triangle is where the GPS cordon is. Uh, let's uh, s yeah stop there. All right. Can you clear now? Uh, let's your start scanning. Hmm? Sorry. Can you can you clear off your previous? You know, like our GPS. Yes, you the can. Bumps? There is a GPS menu. We'll talk about that a little right, later. Okay. All right, and um, yeah, let's keep going forward. There is a target below us, but I think it's in the mountains, and we probably have already passed it. Unless I can find it. No, nah, I can't find it. It's probably in the mountains. All right. Um. So there should be a target just off heading. Uh, three three zero. Three three. Turn right. And uh, yeah, I'll start scanning my targeting pods. Three three zero. I'm not seeing it. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a ground target. Uh, you might see it on your navigation display as a uh, the triangle. If you look really closely, you'll ah. see it. It's like a grey ah, dot it's, there. It's because I'm zoomed out so far. That's why. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was actually below me. Yeah, it's, it's, at, uh, it's at our five o'clock now, isn't it? Yeah, it's at our five o'clock. The I I'm seeing one directly at our twelve o'clock. Oh, now it's I'm popped just up. Yeah, it now over. I've got it. Now I've got it. All right, which like uh, which one have you found? Are you passing? Are you are you passing over the one that you found right now? Or not? No, I was going for the uh, one at uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Um, the one that's behind you? Yes, the one there's one gonna, behind was, you. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. I was gonna turn around. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and turn around to that one. I've got it uh, on my targeting pod, but. Yeah. Also, while you're doing that, try and climb altitude a little, because uh, these bombs uh, are better if you have a little more altitude. Alpha, one, one, overlord, Is there a way to set the nav computer back to centered so that it, it, the aircraft's in the center? Uh, you press reset. Uh, I'll reset. Uh, and what's your go. altitude? Altitude check. Altitude please. is 13,000. Copy. I see it. Yeah, that really helps. <laughs> Right, I'm locked. Okay, you got the targeting pod on the target? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's try and go around for an, er, another run and... Tr well, do the same thing that you did with the GPS bombs. Turn towards it and let me see the um, just diamond. One. Shoot. It's at your uh, 9 o'clock, right? Yep. Okay. Yep, turn towards it. I've already dropped. It was locked. Ah, okay. Uh so make sure just do a do a tar do a circle above your target. Or you might have to go back around. Does your um targeting pod say gimbal limit? It does, yeah. Okay, yep, we're gonna have to try again. But what basically what we're trying to do is um Fly a circle above the target and keep the targeting pod on it for er, all the way down, so that it never says gimbal limit. Because if it says gimbal limit, the bomb's gonna go dumb and lose tracking. Right, I'm on it now. I'm on it now. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna unlock you on radar because that's probably annoying. <laughs> right, here we go. It says shoot. Yep, go ahead and drop, uh... Right. 
Don't. And try and fly a circle around it. So that the targeting pod is always on it. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, that hit short. That was way short. Yeah, it, it's probably because it went dumb for a second. So, uh, you are out of those, so we'll practice those a little later. Yeah, okay. Um, let's, okay. Yeah, let's go on. Those are actually one of the hardest systems. Um, let's uh, fly heading three, uh, zero, 035, and I'll form on you. Also, what's your uh, fuel level? Uh, fuel is... I've got uh, 6,000. Yeah, go ahead and drop your external tank. Uh, by pressing tanks on your jettison panel and then... Cut and, that. And tanks. Oh, empty. Yep. Or tanks, tanks. Oh, I've dropped empty. Ah, okay, well tanks. that's fine. Maybe. Yeah, dropped. What's your uh, altitude currently? Altitude is 8,000. Okay, uh, let's climb to Angel's 15. 15,000. At heading zero, zero, 03. Uh, yeah. No, uh, zero, 030. Zero. No, turn turn to the left, zero, 030. Zero. Is your altitude... Oh, there you are. Oh, you just popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard climb. I'm a bit low on fuel, so we I might have to hook up to the tanker, because uh, I'm at uh, fuel oh, state 3.7. I, I can film you doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can watch me do it. So, now, uh, turn, uh, press home on your uh, targeting pod panel, and select RDR, or radar, whatever it's uh, called. Home, um, what am I pressing, radar? Yeah. Radar, radar off. Radar. Okay, you see the... Okay, and then turn the radar, like, uh, switch on in your center console. Uh, where's the on button? I've got home, soy, R plus, R minus, mode, scan uh, Okay, it's, it's, um, it's a, uh, it's a button that's on your center console. It's like a physical button. Oh, radar on, got it, yeah. Radar yeah. on. Okay, and then, uh, set it as, as your soy, and select aim 120 on your, uh, weapons. Also, uh, yep, speed check. Much. Make sure you're not on afterburners. Uh, I was, because we were climbing. Um, yep, yep. I'm at 18,000. Oh, no, uh, speed. Speed. Oh, speed's dropping. I'm dropping down to around 700. Okay, I'm at 800, so I should... I'm zooming, holy crap. Hang on, I'll break a bit. Yeah, get your air brakes going. I'm like a couple miles up. Yeah, I'm four miles up. Yep, we're closing. I noticed on some of the videos, it's like, you know when we're using the heads-up display now? Yep. It's like it has a video screen on it as well. Yeah, uh, there is a, uh, I think you did this in your very first video, very you can confusing. move your cam camcorder yeah. over it if you want. It kind of obstructs your vision, so unless you're going for like cinematics, I wouldn't suggest yeah, doing right, it. Yeah, yeah. Right, I've got Trying you to six. Yeah? I've got you on my six. Two now. miles. Yeah. yeah, yeah, two miles out. So while we, while you're coming in, the small radar mm -hmm. screen on the above the left hand um, console, I can see uh, a, yes. a, a DS in a diamond, and then there is also a looks like an E4 and a DS lettering over to its eight o'clock uh, eleven o'clock okay. position. Yes. So the radar warning receiver shows all of the um, all radars that are on in the area, and uh, we'll talk about this later when we do combat. Um, anything that's targeting you in particular. Now, the E4 is the AWACS, um, and the DSs, those are SAM sites, those are SAM radars. Those are so, rotating dish uh, radars. AWACS stands for? Airborne Warning and Control Center. It's a plane with a big radar on the top, and it'll direct you to um, what you want. It's friendly. So, how do you know now where the refueling plane is? Um... I can lock it on radar one, and you can press R or fuel on your nav display, and it'll send you a. Um, ah, okay. A, yeah. I'm 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 formed on you. So on Let's, the left hand nav panel, uh, RTB's return to base. It'll give us the yep. navigation. Fuel is to the plane. 
brief you. OBJ point. will give you a, a waypoint to the objective. Um, yeah. If you're playing in a mission. GPS. When do we use that button? Uh, that'll actually open the GPS menu. So if you want to clear the GPS target, you can press that, and then like press delete group, and then you can press map again, and it'll send you back to you. That's Sweet. like a kind of yeah. Sweet. All right, let's turn. Uh, let's turn around. Okay. Heading. Yeah. Let's go. Turn around. Uh, go left hand. Incidentally, um, just on a side note, when yep. you look at my actual plane, do you see somebody in the cockpit? No, because the way the multiplayer mod works is that basically you're just an AI, kind of, that's being controlled by you. Level off the turn, level off the turn. Got you, got you. And um, the AI in this game, you can't see in the cockpit, sadly. So unless the developer of the game changes that, the mod developers can't really do anything about that. Uh, let's climb to uh, 30,000 feet. Go ahead. At 15 degrees. Are we putting burner on? No. We should be fine. I need to conserve. But... So I've still got a crosshair out there now. You've still got what? Like a triangle? Or... Yeah, like the uh, the targeting computer. I've still got the crosshair and the box out Yeah. Uh, if you want to get rid of that, you can just turn it off. Like going back to the menu and turning it off. Right, pressing the power button. But um, it it doesn't really show anything. Let's uh, once we're done with the climb, fly heading one six five. That should get uh, get us on a collision course for a group of enemy aircraft that we're going to shoot down. Actually, let's level off the climb just about here. Twenty five thousand feet should be fine. And uh, get your altitude autopilot on as well. Yeah, it's on. Good. Uh, let's fly heading. Let me revise that. One seven zero. Right hand turn. Good. I'm gonna unlock you in radar so I don't actually accidentally shoot you down. All right. Now on your radar screen, do you see a um? Like a orange triangle. Uh, oh, it just faded. Okay. Do you see an orange triangle? It should be to the left side. No. Oh, uh, you mean on the nav computer or the radar? On the radar. On the radar. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Imagine it's weird. only at two point five clicks. Oh, so, uh, range plus, range plus. Spam that. <laughs> now I see it. It's, there's one over. Yep. It's eleven o'clock, and there's one over on our right, which is sixteen miles away. Okay. Let's uh let's turn towards the one on our eleven o'clock. And press the thumbstick down, and move move the uh, two like move the two lines over it, and press the thumbstick down. Yep, done it. Okay, good. Um, now you will see. Um, actually, press it down twice. Press it down twice. Yeah, it's locked in at one. Okay, good. So now, if you uh, look towards him, yeah, like uh, with your uh, HUD, you should see a box that says one. Auto see that? Disengaged. Uh, I don't see it out in the environment, but there is. There, it was. Oh, it's not locked. It's come. It's unlocked. It. Hang on. Yep. Lock him again. Shoot. Now it's locked. Press it twice. Yeah. And it you says see the shoot. box that says one. Okay. Yes. Now um, let's put that. You might see a dot. Try and put that as near um, or into the circle in the HUD as possible. And once you do that, you can fire and call out Fox Three. And I'm gonna fire Fox Three. Missile launch. Right, I've got the square that says one in the circle. Yep. Oh, um, no, no, no. There's a there's a dot somewhere else. You should move the circle there. Oh, it wants to be further over there. Yep. Because it you have it's basically just compensation for lead. Whoa, that's a lot of lead. Yep, they're moving pretty. Fast. I've got yellow lights on. I got splash bandit. So, I shot I one down. Fire? Yep. Go ahead and fire Fox Three. Fox Three. Good. 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 Nice, that looks good. Um, missile streaking across the sky. And uh, if you see a fireball, that means he shot down. Call out Splash Bandit. Wow, Splash Bandit. Nice. First ever. And it should say, objective <laughs> completed, attack jets. So attack nice. jets indeed. Yeah. All right. Now, you should see another one up to our 12 o'clock. 
You can lock it on radar, but not, we're not gonna we're not gonna use uh, AIM 120s this time. We're gonna use Aris dash T. Okay. Shoot. Aris dash T. Okay, we're just locking yeah, it on it, uh, so we can it, see it here. Yeah. Now it. what we're gonna do is on your nav display, press home, press equip, and then click um, on the Aris T. Like, and then. All right. Uh, tell me when you've done that. Equip. Equip. Yeah. And then click on the uh, button that, like, the line should go to a button uh, connected to the Aerith T. Yeah. Yeah, click on that. Yeah. And then press the seek mode button until it says head track. Shoot. Head track. Okay. Now put your visor down and just move your head towards the target. And if you hear the tone, call out Fox 2 and fire. Fox 2. Good shot. That's a miss. Or no, that's a splash. Splash bandit. Good kill. Box two. I'm Oh nice, you're going in for the second one. Yeah, well, might as well. <laughs> yep, there's there's uh two more, I believe. I'm gonna go for one and we're gonna try and use guns. Box two. Yep. Splash. There should be a last one. We're gonna turn in on that one. Alright? I've lost him on the There's a last Where is one. It? Yeah, he should be like really close. You might not even see him. He was in front of me and he took off. Yep. Your uh, turn. Turn to the right. Turn to the right. Uh, Ninety degrees. See him now. He should be here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, is that down might there? Be... Yep. You see him? Yeah. Lock him on on radar. All right. And then we're gonna have to get uh, way closer. So am I putting him in the circle now? Yeah, you gotta put um, him like right on the dot. Don't fire yet, you're probably out of range. You might see how the circle has like a um, kind of solid bar like um, in the inside of it. Um, once that starts going down, you're in range. Like once that starts, uh, like I don't know, kind of conning down. With the Vulcan, yeah. Yep, with Vulcan. I would say you're in range. So put him. Or do you see a, a smaller square? Like not as big as the. Oh wow. Yep. Call out guns, guns, guns when you fire the guns. Yeah. Guns, Ooh, guns, you just guns. Went super sonic. You got a hit. He's pulling off. I think he hit my wing, actually. Did he? Yeah. Do you guys collide? I think we collided slightly. Eject! Ryan, Eject! Ryan, no, don't, don't, don't. No, Try and hold it steady. I'm going to splash him. Yep, splash bandit. I got the hit. You definitely hit his wing. I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Try and fly as level as you can. And uh, look behind you for any damage. All right, I'll get altitude on. Left wing's We're fine. Right wing's fine. I'm sure. Maybe I must have imagined it. I thought we clipped wings. Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, press RTB on your navigation display, if, and um, let's fly towards that. Er, yeah. That's the airbase. It's uh, 25 miles away. 26. For me. You see it? Yeah, yeah. I'm locking in. I'm going to have to watch this video again. You know, I'm never going to remember all this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I am past bingo fuel. I'm at 1800. So now that we're on, 1400, on the, actually, so. the flight path, I mean, we can go master arms safe, off. yeah? Master arm off. off, and you can like, uh, yeah. You can set the um, radar thing, uh, turn off the radar, and like, you can set that to whatever really, you know. Start flying towards that. I need to get formed on you. Uh, what's your speed? You have no wing then. Um, yeah. uh, 600. 600, okay. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, put the throttle to mill, make sure it's on mill, and put it a little bit actually below that. Just a little. I'm uh, two miles out, closing. So 
So, in theory, if, we, if, if we're doing this in real simulation now and we're coming to RTB, would we have to do a flight plan, flight path around the runway? Or is uh, that just commercial an planes? Is for that an just... aircraft yeah. carrier, yes. Uh, not necessarily for runway, no. Uh, what's your speed? Uh, speed is 580. Ah, okay. I don't know why I'm not closing faster. This is one thing I wasn't sure about as well. You know, when we're approaching the runway now, yeah. How do you know which which end to approach? Um, if you contact ATC, they'll tell you. But we're we're just really doing whatever now. <laughs> All right. Um, put the throttle to idle and start braking. Alpha one one tower, clear to land at runway one six. And let's turn, uh, heading one eight. Six. One eight six. Heading one eight six. Left. And uh, flaps too. Don't put the gear down yet. You might feel the uh, aircraft kind of bump around a little bit. That's normal. That's just the flaps. Now, uh, so, all right, put the gear down. What's your speed? Speed is 270. Okay, good. Nice and slow. Uh, you can stop braking now and put the throttle up to maybe one fourth. And uh, let's turn in for the runway. You're going to have to turn right around. Angle, and uh, once you're lined up. Eight, yeah? Yep. You gotta try and put it there. Uh, once you've done that, yeah, put the um, velocity vector, the circle with the three prongs, right on the uh, end of the runway where you want to land. Where are you? I am behind you. Oh, I'm way too I'm high. Ready. I've come in here way too high. Yep, just put, uh, start slow. What's your speed? Uh, speed is 300. Yep. Uh, slow down, slow down. And put the velocity vector where you want to touch down. Uh, it's just putting your pitch down. Or are you going to go around? I was going to try it. Yeah, I would say go around, because you've already passed halfway mark. Uh, can I go ahead and... Or, oh, no, you're going to touch down. Okay. Never mind. Over D. Yeah, my I touched of, down. I'm down. My angle of attack was terrible, but anyway. That's fine. Process. Yep. Uh, from what I could see, which I couldn't see much, that landing looked better than last time, though. <laughs> oh, God, that was awful. The first one must have been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the first one, you were rolled a little bit. Were you on this one? I couldn't tell. Oh, you'll see on the video. I I'd give that a, a 2 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I actually came in a little fast on this one as well, so this one was my... I think what I did, what I've done on the first... This one and the other one is is that I don't give myself enough time, you know, to line up, and I come in too right. fast. I need to go yeah, yeah, further yeah. out before I um, before I start to make my approach. Right. All right, let's just, I guess, park out here. All right, so do you have any... Uh, you, we can run through uh, shutdown uh, once... You can run through shutdown while we're talking. Do you have any questions? Um... Lots and lots and lots, but I probably need to be, <laughs> need to watch the video again in order to be able to ask you again. Well, well it's a lot is there, to take is there in anything? All at once. Mm. Is there anything right now, kind of that you want to tell? Um, yes. There's a button on the center console. Mm -hmm. What's a it called? APLT. Am I guessing that that's autopilot altitude that we can change? That's yep. You can move. You can move that up and down, and that'll act. If you have your uh, autopilot altitude on, that'll actually change to what it'll like go to. So uh, it's not just a hold. If you move it up, it'll actually go up. It's pretty cool. Um, and up at the bottom where it says heading and CRS, yep. that, that's is that the route we should be taking for landing. RTB. Um. So, if so, do you see a like orange line? Yes. 
So there's one in the bottom and top, and there's one in the middle. The middle one moves, the one on the bottom and top is where the runway is, and the middle yeah. one is where you are. So that's kind of like a lineup helper. If uh, you you should want to have the um, the middle one just right in line with the bottom and top one, and also that heading button that's exactly the same as the APL thing, but for heading. And there's also one for speed right next to your speed dial. So when would we use that CRS and, and the heading dial? When, when would we? So the CRS is some more advanced techniques. Okay. The heading. If we have our heading set and you want to do a more precise, maybe more um, stable turn, you can just move that heading uh, knob to wherever you want to turn on the compass, um, and it'll turn you like automatically. Got ya. I've learnt yep. tons anyway again today, and it's yeah. probably also, <laughs> I'll probably go back and watch the video two or three times. I think, yeah, I think for the next and hopefully, like, I guess not hopefully. <laughs> La last session, at least with me, we'll practice um, generally doing like refining our fine uh, flight skills. Yep. Um, we're, I have a great mission for that. We're gonna do a run through a canyon at pretty high speeds, and um, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's great for practicing um, flying. Sounds absolutely um, awesome. Yeah. After that, we are going to practice air, aerial refueling and then do some carrier ops. You little tease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And well, I... um, yeah. Yeah. Go on, sir. All right. And if if and on your request, if you want, we can also do a um, session with Quantify, um, and he will teach you um, more advanced dogfighting maneuvers um, and missile evasion. Sounds awesome. So, yeah, I've got to work right. out. I've got to work out to fire them before I try and evade them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you did. You did pretty good, actually. Yeah, beginners look. I'm sure it is. But anyway, right. Oh no, it, it, was it was good. It was good. Well, you, yeah. you'll <laughs> you'll see on the video how terrible it was. All right, anyway. I will. <laughs> right, well, I'll end the video there. Thank, thank you. Let me know when you're free for the right. uh, for the next part. I'm really, really enjoying will. this. Yeah, I am as well. <laughs> thank you. See you later. Bye bye. Uh, no problem. My pleasure. See you. Bye. Thank you.